my last journey, y'all, it was horrible because, like, my retention sucked. The main reason, y'all, and I'm giving up my suite is simply because this St. Louis is not where I'm from. I am not a Missourian, baby. I am from Chicago, Illinois. If I lived in Chicago and I had a suite, I would have been having so many clients. Like, well, sometimes we, you just got to learn your lesson and move forward. So my lesson is definitely going to be me going back to the drawing board. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's the one and only Amber Mercedes, and I'm here with another YouTube video, okay? So, if you're subscribing to Have Not, go ahead and click subscribe button and give a thumbs up because if you're not keeping up with Amber Mercedes, we'll keep it up there with you, period, okay? So, by the time of this video, you guys, it's not clickbait, it's true. This is my lash journey, part seven. And yes, you guys, I am giving up my lash sweet. I'm not going to cry in this video. I already did all my crying before I made it. But this will be my last month and my last week. I'm moving out February 28th. But, um, and I will not be renew renewing my lease. But let me tell you what's been going on as far as my last journey and why I am moving out, okay? So, if you guys want to see my previous last journeys, I have part one, part two, three, four, five, six. Now we're at seven, okay? So... I'm not, I just want to put this out now. I'm not quitting and giving up on myself. I am going to continue to be a lash tech, but I am stopping this month temporarily until I find, um, you know, just I have to go back to the blue, the blueprint, okay? I have to really, you know, sit down and see where do I go from here, okay? So let me just give you a lash update. So the last one I made was three months ago. So I'm like, I need to make one because I made one in a minute. So I'm like, let me go ahead and just give people, you know, an update. So if you are interested in being a lash tech, if you are a beginner lash tech or whatnot, you know, keep watching, if you want to keep watching this video to see where I am in my last journey, I've been lashing for a whole year. This is going to be two years. This October of 2023, I'll be a lash tech for two years, okay? And when I first started my lash journey, y'all, it was horrible because, like, my retention sucked. My um, work was taking so long. I don't even want to say that my work was bad. I never did bad sets. They just took extremely, y'all, extremely way too long. My retention sucked. People lashes was popping off the next day, the next hour. People was, I, I was consistently getting messages from the wake up. Like, hey, my lashes fell off. I don't know what, what happened. I don't know what I did wrong. Woo -woo. I spent nights crying. I was miserable. I was upset. Like, I was frustrated. But, y'all, I did stay consistent. I did keep practicing, keep practicing, kept working on it, kept doing it. And I eventually got better. When I first started being, being a lash tech, y'all, it took me seven hours to do a set. Then it took me five, then three. Now I'm able to knock these lashes out in an hour and a half, two hours if you want like a, if you want like a mega bound set. Um, and one time I got done doing somebody's lashes in an hour and a half. I just had a client right now. I did her lashes in an hour. Like you do get quicker, but it does take time. So don't go into this, you know, lash journey as being a lash technician. Think like, oh, I'm gonna make a lump sum of money immediately. It's, it don't it don't work like that. Like it is a skill, y'all, and it does take time. It is a skill. You do get faster the more you practice. That's my number one advice that I would give to anybody. Practice if you can every single day. I was not the person to practice every single day, and I feel like that's another reason why God is trying to steer my direction elsewhere. Because the main reason, y'all, and I'm giving up my suite is simply because I don't have enough clients. And my rent suite is not even that expensive. It's five hundred dollars a month. But my thing is, I'm not gonna keep paying five hundred dollars a month every single month when I'm only bringing in about <laughs> y'all. Sometimes I go one month, one full month with no clients, and it's like it's not consistent. Like if I had a bunch of clients, if I had at least three clients a week, then it'll work. But, like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if, I don't know why the girl's not booking. And that's why I feel like I need to go back to the blueprint because I'm not going to keep wasting my money. Because at this point, I waste my own money paying my, my rent. Like, I'm not going to keep paying two rents. I'm not. Because at the end of the day, I don't have enough clients. Like, I probably 
and I thought I probably upload like my books to show y'all that it's no cap but like December I probably had two clients maybe three the whole month y'all this is the whole month um November probably had like one or two October because I want to go back to my last last update so my last last update that I have on my channel was three months ago right so three months looking back I did not, I haven't had a client. I haven't had a client in January. I think I probably had one client, maybe two. This month, I think I got three so far, which is good. But like, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm only having two to three clients a month, and it's not it's not covering my rent, then what is the point of being here? And it's not like I'm giving up on myself. I don't want to do that at all, and I'm not doing that. But like, y'all, I really have to go back to the drawing board because maybe god wants me to wait i should have waited till i got my suite and maybe god want me to really really start snapping on these lashes first and then get the clientele so then i can get the suite and god gonna bless me y'all with a bigger suite you know what i'm saying like but i have to cut tabs with this suite i have so i should have cut tabs with this suite when i got robbed and they came up with him and took out my inventory but i did not kept it and ever since then i have just haven't made the money that I was hoping to at least pay for rent every single month. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna keep coming out of my own money, my own pocket to pay my rent, what's the point, you know? And y'all have to keep it mad. I hope this don't discourage anybody because I'm not really discouraged about it, so you shouldn't be. But y'all have to keep it mad at the end of the day. This St. Louis is not where I'm from. I am not a Missourian, baby. I am from Chicago, Illinois. If I lived in Chicago and I had a suite I would have been having so many clients. Like, I have a lot of support from my from my hometown. Like, my city definitely support me. I would have definitely had so many people come to get their lashes done and get lashed. Like, I'm not worried about it at all. Hold on, y'all. My bad. The problem is when you're in a new city, in a new state, it's just so much harder for you to get clientele it really really is and it's not like i was a previous lash tech in chicago and i just moved all of a sudden to st louis no i didn't know i i i like literally came to st louis and got certified in st louis you know what i'm saying so it's not like i've been had you know clientele and i've been had supporters and people been new about me and they've been new i was a lash tech no i started being a lash technician in missouri i started in st louis like i got my certificate by somebody who was lashing for four years in st louis and she had her clientele was jumping but that's because she was born and raised to it's so different being a lash tech when you are not from that city and you're trying to get clientele it's one of the hardest things to do and i feel like i spent a lot of time this year trying to get clientele when i really just need to focus on perfecting my work not saying that my lashes are terrible or ugly, but I just feel like I really can start really snapping on these lash sets how I want to. But if I don't take the time out to really get myself together, get my skills together, try, you know, taking like one more lash class, practicing every single day. I really want to start practicing every single day. But once again, my suite is downtown and I live all the way in the suburbs. It's so hard to commute every single day. Gas is expensive. I'm not going to keep driving 30 minutes every day to practice lash sets. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I do need to just go ahead and just move on with my life. Close shop in my suite. Go back to the drawing board. Take every, all my equipment home and be home-based for a minute. It's nothing wrong with me being home-based for me. It was never a problem with being home-based for me. The reason I initially chose to get a lash suite in the first place because I'm like, look, I'm in a new city, new state. I don't want hold, I don't, like, I don't want holes in and out my crib. Like to be a buck. Like I'm like, I don't I don't trust people like that. You know, in and out from Chicago. Like, I don't trust people like that. So I'm like, I don't want people in and out my house. And I know y'all probably thinking, well, you couldn't have people in and out your house now if you want to be home based. But at least I have been here long enough where when people start booking with me, I know their names. I know that I lashed them before. I have lashed over I probably been lashed over well over a hundred people before. And because I didn't have the retention that I have now. I lost a lot of those clients because a lot of those lashes was popping off the next day. But it took me where I am now, which is a year in, to now I know how to put it, push out longer lasting lashes, but now I want to focus on my skill. And that's why I decided to go back to the drawing board and be home-based where I'm already paying rent in my crib. I might as well just lash in my crib, 
perfect my craft. I can practice every single day. I can wake up and practice every single day. Don't have to worry about it. And yes, my lash suite is a bad, but yes, it's such a pretty aesthetic. But if the money not making sense, then what, what's the point of having it? It has to make sense at the end of the day. So yes, I'm definitely miserable about giving up my lash suite. I put a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of money to my last week. But at the end of the day, I know it's the best decision. And I know one day God gonna bless me with a bigger last week. And I'm gonna have a lot of a lot of clientele bringing in a lot of money. But y'all, I really have to go back to the drawing board and I have to really figure it out. So that's why I, after February, I will not be no longer lashing until maybe April. I want to say April, I'm going to start back because I really want to take the time to really just practice on my skill, really just get myself mentally prepared to, you know, start lashing from my home. I want to get my home a little bit more organized, not saying that there's stuff everywhere. It's just that y'all, Lash by Mercedes, like me actually selling my lashes, that is also in my home. And I really was kind of waiting to move to get a two-bedroom before I took everything and just, you know, give up my suite. But, you know, that ended up happening. I had to stay in my one bedroom. So I have to work with what I have. So we're going to work with what we have. And I'm going to find a way how to stay home based for a minute until God blesses me with a bigger blessing. But, you know, I'm going to have to do what I have to do. And y'all know one thing about me. I'm always very transparent about everything that I have going on in my life because I really want y'all to get it. Like, it really is ups and downs to having a business. It, I have videos on him make, of me making a ton of money off my business. And then you have a bunch of videos like this where I take L's. Like, losing my suite is an L. Like, I'm really upset about it. But I know it just doesn't make sense to keep it if I if I don't bring in that money to even afford to stay here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, other than that, like, my last sets has been coming out fine. Like, but I want them to come out fat. Like, I want them to be like top tip you know what i'm saying my timing is way better so that's a thumbs up that's something to be grateful for so that's what we owe my last journey part seven my retention is better i don't have people texting me my lashes popped off woo -woo. no my lashes are staying so i am so proud of myself for that number two is my my work is getting better and better like i'm i'll be surprised at myself y'all because like i told y'all i only be having one two or three clients a month so how is it that i still know how to lash and keep it mad y'all i don't practice like i should you know what i'm saying but when i do them so quickly and i still produce these sets i'm like damn just and but just imagine if you just practice every single day where you would be in your last journey i would have been up there on oh, my mama, I would have been up there. But you know, to each his own, to each his own, that was a lesson that I've learned. And you know, sometimes we you just gotta learn your lesson and move forward. So my lesson is definitely gonna be me going back to the drawing board and just really focus on bringing in that clientele, but also working on my craft. Like, yes, I, have, I, I do decent lash sets, but I wanna do amazing lash sets. I want my lashes to really pop. I wanna do color. I wanna do glitter. I wanna do decal. Like, I wanna do all type of lashes, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know how to do that. I know it's not hard, but like, I really wanna nail being a lash tech before getting a suite. I will always say, really, really focus on the skill before you try to get a suite. And if you are in a new city and state, and you are a lash tech and you became a lash a new lash tech in that same city or state like i wish you the best with getting clientele because it was really really extremely hard for me but because it may be hard for me it may not be hard for you but i do want i did want to come on here and share y'all share with y'all why i'm in my last journey because i haven't made one in a minute so that's why i'm at with it y'all like my my timing went down retention went down grateful for that but i will be giving up my suite this month so i'm just you know, anticipating that part, but I know it's for the better and I know it's best for me. You know, sometimes we really have to put ourselves first. And you know, if clients don't want to book them, book with me because they feel like they don't want to come to my house, then I'm just like last check for you. It's a bunch of people that got sweets out here. But for me and my money and where I'm at in my life, this is the best step for me to be home based for the moment. And it's okay because I'm gonna end up getting me a sweet again. Know that. I'm going to end up getting me a suite again. It's going to be better. And it's going to be more secure and more safe. Because I feel like even in the building that I'm in right now, it's not safe enough. You know, the door downstairs is pretty much open from, I think, like, 9 in the, 9 in the morning to about, like, 4. 
people coming in and out. I ain't got robbed here before. You know what I'm saying? Not at gunpoint or nothing, but I'm going to tag my video in the description box so y'all can see the whole story about how I ended up getting, you know, all my inventory stolen from me. But, you know, it's kind of like unprofessional. So, God may want... I, I may not even know. It may be a whole shootout in here uh, in the month of March. God forbid. But I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm never going to question why I have to make a tough decision. I'm going to just trust him. This year, I'm moving with faith. And I'm leaving my feelings behind. You know, everything happens for a reason. I always go on that. So, I'm just excited for this journey because... I know once I have all of my lash stuff at the crib, I know I'm going to be lashing and practicing every single day. And I'm so excited to do that because it's something that I've been wanting to do, y'all. I just feel like I just didn't have the the drive to drive down here, like the motive to drive down here every single day. But now that all I have to do is wake up, go to my living room and practice, it's going to be way better for me. And now I'm going to be able to produce this lash sets that I always favorite on my For You page, on me on my Explore page on Instagram Reels. The ones that I always favorite on my For You page on TikTok. Like, I know I can start producing those sets because I'm going to know that I'm, like, working every single day to make better sets. So, yeah, that's why I met with you guys. Um, so, wish me luck as I attempt to package all this stuff up and move out and go through that whole journey. Because that's going to be a journey. And just, you know, pray for me because I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Like I said, I already cried about it. But, you know, this little shit's a giant, period. Um, and I'm just excited to just practice every single day. And hopefully when I make my last journey part eight, which I plan on doing at the end of April, um, you guys are going to see bit, better things from me, okay? So that's all I have for you guys. I'm about to go ahead and hand home because it's a long day and I got to work. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Give me a thumbs up. Wish me luck. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.